Hey guys, it's Gibson slash Hitman here with a quick update video for the pre-release of 1.5 Assassin's Creed Mod Alpha Mountain Blade Warband something. Anyway, first things first, as you can see I have totally redone Jerusalem. Now as you may have noticed before, and most likely definitely have noticed, most of the towns are still vanilla and all that. Well all of that is going to change by 1.7. By 1.7 Alpha release, all the towns and villages are going to be modeled to the proper lore and size and all of that. Now, as you can see here with Jerusalem, as barren and empty as it looks, which I will be hopefully fixing, uh, I've made it roughly six to ten times bigger than the original Jerusalem, and I've also made it so that there's a good possibility that I'll be adding parkour and jumping scenarios and putting little treasures around the rooftops on the map for you guys to find. So, yeah, 1.6 I'll be starting to experiment with some a new animations and jumping and, you know, all that cool Assassin's Creed stuff and moves and all that good stuff, as well as some Hidden Blade animations, if I can get around to that. Um, alright, next piece of business. As you may have heard in my other videos, I have a little baby dev team put together now, so I have some help with the modeling, which is great. Kudos. Uh, also obvious piece of news, I have made a brand new Assassin's Creed, ugh, Assassin's Armor. Now there's the Royal Assassin's Armor, which is black and gold, uh, Master Assassin's Armor, which is what I'm wearing right now, and regular Assassin's Armor, which doesn't have the cool little metal shoulder pad things. Now, yes, I know the te texture looks gross, revolting, and ugly, but hey, it's, you know, it's just to start. I'll be putting a lot more detail, normal maps, and, you know, specular maps, and all that good stuff to make it look more realistic and not so spray paint, which would be great. And yes, as I believe I've just said, I've also textured weapons, added... Crash my game. Okay, added a few more new weapons, all that good stuff. And then the final piece of news here is I have added, or merged, the Diplomacy mod with my Assassin's Creed mod to make it feel a little less vanilla. I'll be putting a link to the actual Diplomacy mod, as well as the guy who made its name in the description, you know, because we always give credits to the gods and stuff. But... Diplomacy mod is a very, very, very popular mod. I mean, you see it in 1257 AD, Clash of Kings, all those top mods have the Diplomacy mod. It makes it feel a lot less vanilla. So that's what I've added, just to kind of give it a more, you know, mod feel, rather than that vanilla feeling you always get. So yeah, that's all I have for today, folks. I'll be releasing the 1.5 very, very, very soon here, after I just, as you can see, there's winter in the background. I'll be fixing a few texture glitches that you may have spotted in the video. Uh, Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want, you know, subscribing. And I'll see you next time.